Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rides of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping video uh, content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video. And as you can see, I'm back on the Eden map today and we are currently taking a level 4 town. We're trying to increase our um, faction score. Um, we are already well ahead in the map, but one, basically the top of this video that I do want to talk about is Footman Legion. So um, a few people have been asking me what Footman Legions am I running now that I am quite far into the game. Obviously we're in SX7 now, um, and you do have quite a few different options, even just um, with SX Footman Heroes for running your Legions. Now, I don't have every single hero in the game. I have missed a, a few. Um, or I do have a few heroes that aren't completely developed like um, SX5 Liberator or SX7 um, Scarlet Reaver. So I don't have the top, top options available. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I was running in my account. So out of my four, when I'm hitting a town um, or a stru any structure really, and if I'm quite close to that structure, then I will opt to run four Footman Legions um, each time. Now... I just need to check actually, one thing I didn't do before I started the video was swap over all the gear. So I will just do that in a second. But basically as you can see, let's look at my class legion at the moment. So I'm running with Avalanche at the back, even though she's obviously a cavalry hero. You can use her with footmen for when you're taking structures, as long as your other heroes are uh, do work, their skills do work with footmen. Uh, the reason you want to use Avalanche is of course because her sixth skill is going to give the extra 300 demolition value and that's why this legion has a demolition value of 1036. I'm also then just using Demon Spear and Orochi with Avalanche. Um, Demon Spear is a front row footman hero, basic orange hero. Orochi is a general hero so he works with footmen as well and Orochi has that extra HP for all of the um, all of the formation so um, I that's why I put Orochi in there just to boost the HP so your losses are less um, so we'll send that marching again I've got a full set of Dragon Master gear with that Legion and then I just need to swap over uh, to my footman gear so I have another two full sets of footman gear and I also then just have about another half a set so uh, I'm going to be a little bit slow taking uh, this structure we're all taking this structure by the looks of it because we've got nothing else to do at the moment um but yeah i've only got about half a set for the rest of the gear so we'll just get that set up and send them on their way now uh just let's go back to my legion so the other three legions are just made up of um footmen so obviously you do if you look at my previous videos you'll see that you do have front middle and back row um heroes for footmen so i try and stick to that generally um to be honest i really like this legion one option that i'm running um datch scander bleeding steed i really like this option because um, when you're taking structures obviously um you're doing multiple hits the structure guardians are still there they're still going to be you're still going to be making some losses when you're um, attacking those guardians and having Dax Skander and uh, Bleeding Steed is going to really reduce those um, losses because Skander is giving extra HP, um, Steed, and so does Dax. Skander is giving that massive recovery skill as well. And then Steed also has that recovery skill happening, you know, 50% of the time. So hopefully you can just reduce your losses by running that combo. Um, it is a very, you know, pretty defensive combo and it is easy to take um the structured guardians they're not once you've hit, made that first hit then it is easy to take them other than that really um i would just say it's just having a, a combination that fits uh the squad so you can see legion 2 i'm running hunk on the front row again he has extra hp uh, then i've got cicero middle row and then valkyrie back row uh, valkyrie i don't even actually have a ape skill unlocked at the moment i've just got skills one to six maxed um, so I'm still happy to run with that combo. Um, of course, at this stage in the game, uh, you would also have Desert Storm available as a back row hero. If you are getting all of the heroes, then you could have SX7 Scarlet Reaver. She is, for me, the best back row um, footman hero in terms of attacking. And then you can see here as well, I've got for Legion 3 uh, a different combination. I'm running um, Dragon's Avatar, again, a front row footman hero. I do have him maxed. And then behind that, I'm actually running um, Jade Rakshasa and Iron Hand. So 
Uh, Jade Rakshasa, quite a lot of people back in the day have used her in the middle row. Um, it's perfectly fine putting her there, to be honest, if you don't have another option. Um, maybe, you know, you could potentially, for instance, if you do have Desert Storm, um, you could put one of the back row heroes like Jade Rakshasa or Desert Storm into uh, the back row of this combination. And then you could put Bleeding Steed in the middle here. Um, just as another option. Like I say, these aren't. Um, th these are just what I'm running with, what I have available. So uh, you know, it's not. Um, I'm not basically giving the top four options per se. But there are a lot. Any of these combinations you're just looking for when you're taking a structure. Um, the key is obviously just to, like I say, I would say just either have a good balance or um, try and get as many heroes in there that have like defensive elements as possible. Um, so when I talk about defensive elements, what I mean is, so like if we look at Skander, for instance, Skander on um, his sixth skill has this extra HP boost as well at 15%, um, and then extra resistance on the seventh skill that's going to all of the, that seventh skill extra resistance is going to all three um, squads in that Legion. And then, um, as I've said as well, um, Dash, he also has that extra 15% HP on his sixth skill, extra resistance on the seventh, and then Steed also has the extra 15% HP and resistance. So that's why that combination do uh, do really reduce their losses in that terms. Hunk um, also does have extra HP and resistance. So that's why I've put him on the front row. Um, Dragon's Avatar, if I remember rightly, isn't quite as defensive. No. So Dragon's Avatar doesn't. Um, so instead of Dragon's Avatar, for instance, you know, you could potentially have... Uh, Peacebringer on the front. Um, so I do have one copy of Peacebringer, but I don't have any more than that. Peacebringer has extra HP um, on from the sixth skill, so that would again just help keep those um, losses to a minimum. So there are lots of different options for you, particularly if you're a top spender and um, you are obtaining all of the heroes. Then uh, you can just go with four different front row footman heroes. Um, you know, instead of relying on Demon Spear as well, you could have a better S hero in there. Um, so there are lots of different options for you. Would who would else? Oh, of course, and there's Liberator as well. So um, Liberator, I've only got one copy of him. So let's just have a quick look at Libera the Liberator. So again, Liberator, extra HP on that sixth skill, extra resistance on the seventh skill. Um, the rest, the rest of his actual skills are not so important. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the the footman combinations that I'm running. And um, like I say, I probably, if it was a perfect world, I would probably have a Desert Storm on the back row um, as well, because Desert Storm uh, does have extra HP and resistance on his sixth and seventh skills so he would be a he would be a good option as well i would suggest to put in one of your legions so definitely uh, liberator scarlet reaver and desert storm i would probably pop in uh, but you definitely want to have um, avalanche in one of your legions as i've said the other thing i haven't touched on is iron hand so why can iron hand be good to run in a combination of four footmen well say if you are actually slightly far away from a structure and you need your marching speed to increase well as if you notice when we click on this legion 3 we get a different green icon up here and that is all to do with iron hands seventh skill so iron hand is one of the three ss um, s1 heroes who have these active seventh skill so you can see it's called rampage and after the using the skill heroes footman has 100 percent bonus marching speed 100 percent bonus footman might for 20 minutes there's a 15 hour cooldown. So this is only gonna be active for 20 minutes. Even if it's not, it's still 30% in effect. So um, that will give you a little boost as well. So if we then activate, you'll see at the at the moment, it's 36 seconds to march to the target with this, uh, with this Legion. If we then click on the active skill menu, choose the Rampage option, you can see now it's effective for 20 minutes. Just click off and click on again, and you can see that that's reducing the marching time of that Legion by 12 seconds. So it is a really good boost. And obviously, if you are quite far away, that's going to allow you to get more marches off. The more marches, you, obviously, the important thing when taking structures is you want to take them within at least an hour because after the hour, then the defenders are going to recover. 
20% of the um, structure value, demolition value. So then it can be really difficult, particularly if you are taking a structure with limited players uh, or you are running out of banners to use, then um, having these S1 heroes who can increase the marching speed and in this instance, having Iron Hand for your footman is really beneficial. You can get off more hits in the same amount of time. Obviously, the other S1 heroes that do have that skill are S1 Cavalry Hero Lionheart and S1 uh, Archer's Hero the Pacer. So those are the three heroes that you can use in these situations on the Eden map. So there we go, guys. That was everything I wanted to talk about in this, in this video, just kind of covering my four options that I'm using at the moment. Um, as I say, if I pick up a couple more copies of Liberator, uh, then I certainly would swap him in for uh, Demon Spear. And um, if I do pick up Scarlet Reaver as well, she is in the rewards Heroes Rewards banner that I'm going to be going for. Then I probably would then have a little play around and put her in the back row of one of these squads. Probably in, I would then, I'd say I'd move Bleeding Steed into uh, this top row as well. So I'd then probably have Liberator, Bleeding Steed and um, avalanche instead so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys um, I know it's a bit disjointed because we're kind of uh, attacking a, a, a structure at the same time as me talking through uh, my options but I hope you've enjoyed the video um, of course if you do have any questions or comments about different combinations um, like do you disagree with how I'm even running my combinations right now and my strategy uh, then please do uh, let me know I'm um, just to kind of make you aware usually I am in the top 10 15 um, players for hitting structures um, even I think when we were hitting the temple I was ranked in the top 30 out of about 130 so um, I am usually do make a lot of my season points from hitting structures using this strategy um, so for me I think it does really work um, particularly for instance if you're a player that is struggling to get on and, and have that high volume of play uh, in the Eden map, but you can make a few town hits or structure hits every day, then being able to maximize your contribution in those situations can really help contribute towards your guild's development through the season. So um, yeah, this is still a key, key part of your um, Reign of Chaos season, guys. Uh, so that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, do place your comments down below. And if you haven't already, why not um, share this video and my channel in your Alliance Chat, Province Chat, and through Line, WhatsApp, Fiber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.